Welcome back to Daybreak. More snow might be in the forecast this weekend, and that means you're going to have to take out those shovels and get to work clearing your driveway. But if you'd rather sit back and relax and let a local kid do the job, one 11 year old is ready to do it for you. Meet Elliot Estenson. Well, with him being autistic, there's always the question of, you know, can he take care of himself? Learning how to do everyday things is part of being an adult and taking care of yourself. I wanted, you know, a computer and I wanted something, you know, more advanced. So I decided that I would start shoveling all winter. We have an old laptop and he uses that old laptop. And he was thankful to have that, but he quickly learned that he wanted something nicer. He wanted to earn the money. We talked a lot about you know, what can he do to earn money. He's not old enough to have a job. And with winter coming up, we talked about him doing snow shoveling. I usually just help out my parents. That's what I've always done. And then I decided earlier this year before winter that I would start doing it for money. Something as simple as shoveling snow, I mean, it, it, it seems easy, but Elliot has had to learn, you know, how to do the job the right way. It's teaching him a skill that he can take later in life. He is very knowledgeable. If he gets on a topic, he learns everything that he can about topic. For a job like this, like let's say for our driveway, for our current snowfall, it would probably, I don't know, charge like around $10. But if it was very heavy, slushy, you know, stuff like that, it might be in $20 maybe, I don't know. It's, it's a really simple job and I encourage others to try to shovel. I'm in no competition. I basically monopolized this place, which is not bad. <laughs> well, Elliot's goal is around $700 so he can buy a state-of-the-art computer to help with school and for gaming. Now you can reach out to his mom to hire the 11-year-old via Facebook, and we'll have all of that information a little bit later over on WQW.com.